When we usually draw this, we, we, we usually don't draw two heads above the ab. Usually we draw dalet gimel, and that's it, one wash. Here I see two heads. Why? In every potsuf you have two wash, except for galgalta. Every potsuf, because it has to make the calculation according to the previous state. But galgalta didn't have a previous state she got. Her rosh is Malchudein Sof. That restricted itself and decided to make a masach. And it's all in the same rosh. Whereas every time you have the Rishimo from the previous state, you have to take into account and what's going on right now. Yes? It's kind of confusing because in the Paltzuf Sag we say that it did not spread below the Tabu because it still didn't have the Bchina Gimel. Here it's the same too, well. But here we see that after the calculation, Ab is actually Gimel Gimel, so why when the Sag spreads doesn't become Bed Bed in the Goof? He also has Dalet in Ab, but it spreads from below upward. It doesn't receive it. He pushes it away. Sag too, he won't receive Gimel, that's why Gimel is in him. If you can reject something out of pleasures in order to come closer to the Creator, you maintain it. Because this rejection is the addition of the action. It's an addition. So even if it's in the upper Rosh, it's already a part of the Partuf? Of course, it belongs to it. Even to the body? Yes, yes, there's an illumination in the goof. Meaning we don't we don't draw it, but it belongs. Suppose, yes. More? No, let's see. Rachamim. <laughs> 